Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to be teaching you about inscribed angles. Before we start, just remember we're talking about angles, angle measurements. So anytime you hear the word angle or measurement, that's going to be in degrees. If you hear the word length, that'll be in centimeters or inches or yards. So we won't be dealing with that today. So we're just talking about angles, so we'll be dealing in degrees. So uh, let's see what we have here. So here, this is not an inscribed angle. This is a central angle. If you remember what a central angle is, it's formed by two radii uh, and the vertex is at the center, okay? Uh, inscribed angle is a little different. So here's the way I'll show you about inscribed angles. So let's take this hair tie and let's stretch it out just a little. So just pay attention to this angle right here. Okay, and if I pull it back right here, it makes that angle narrow. So here's a wide angle, and here's a narrow angle. Wide, narrow. So an inscribed angle uh, is a stretched out version of the central angle. It stretches from the center to any part of the circle. So here's how I'll show you. So here is our central angle, okay, right on top, and then I stretch it out to go to the circle, and that would be our inscribed angle. Uh, so it goes from wide to narrow. So how narrow does it get? Uh, it becomes half the measure of the central angle. So, for example, let's say that the central angle that we have here is 104 degrees. That makes its intercepted arc, or the arc that this central angle is eating, also 104 degrees. Now, let's stretch out this central angle, okay? We'll stretch it out by taking our straight edge and going from, and drawing a, a chord. So a chord um, is a line that goes from one point of the circle. So we're gonna choose this point, uh, one end of the intercepted arc, and draw it to another point on the circle. Okay, so here's a chord. So from one point to the circle to another point on the circle. And we'll go from the other end of the intercepted arc and draw another chord. Okay, and so this is a narrow version of its central angle. How narrow? Half the measure. So what's half of 104 degrees? That would be 52 degrees. Now, Let's draw another intercepted arc using the same, or inscribed angle using the same intercepted arc. So let me take this red pen, okay? And I'll just take, go from this point, okay? And go from here to here. And if you notice, this inscribed angle, this red angle, has the same inscri intercepted arc, okay, as the blue inscribed angle. Okay, so since both of them are eating this arc, okay, so this red angle is half of its intercepted arc, half of 104 would be 52 degrees. If you notice, since they're both eating the same arc or both have the same intercepted arc, these two angles are congruent. So, big takeaway is that inscribed, so write this down, make a power card on it. Okay, so inscribed angles are equal to one half the central angle and one half intercepted arc. So here's our central angle. The inscribed angle is half the central angle. Uh, here's the intercepted arc. Its inscribed angles are half. Or if you want to go backwards or flip it, so the inscribed angle is half or flipping it, um, the central angle is twice as much as the inscribed angle and its intercepted arc is twice as much as the inscribed angle. So let me show you some examples. 
So let's take this one and let's zoom in, okay? So we're trying to figure out the measure of this angle and this is an inscribed angle because its vertex is on the circle, okay? And this inscribed angle, its intercepted arc is this arc right here, which is 60 degrees. Remember, inscribed angles are half of the intercepted arc. So this is 30 degrees. Let's look at this one. We're trying to figure out what this inscribed angle is, okay? And we see this, this is a diameter because it goes from one end of the circle through the center to the other end of the circle. And so this inscribed angle, it's eating a semicircle. If you guys remember, semicircles are how many degrees? 180 degrees. So if this is 180 degrees, then its inscribed angle is half. So this would be a right angle or 90 degrees. Let's go to this one right here. We're trying to figure out the measure of this angle right here. So let's highlight the angle. Okay, and its intercepted arc is this entire arc. So we know that this for arc AB is 74 degrees, arc BC is 94 degrees, and this inscribed angle is eating this entire arc, arc ABC. So what we'll do with 74 and 94 is just add them up. So 74 plus 94 is 168 degrees. Okay, let's go on to this next problem. Um, first thing that I see is another diameter right here, okay? Uh, and we're trying to figure out what this arc is. So knowing that this is a diameter, I know that this is a semicircle and this is a semicircle. So this entire arc is 180 degrees. So just keep that in mind. So let's use this inscribed angle to figure out what just this arc is. Remember, the intercepted arc is twice the measure of its inscribed angle. So 2 times 42 is 84. And we want to, and we, but we want this arc right here. So we know that this entire arc is 180 degrees because it's a semicircle. So what we're going to do is just subtract 180 and 84. So 180 minus 84 is 96 degrees. So this arc is 96 degrees. All right, let's go on to three more problems, okay? I know there are a lot of problems, but the more that we do, uh, the better we'll get. So this one uh, is a tricky one if you just look at it. Um, but it's not too bad. We just have to determine what pieces of information that we need. So we need this, we're trying to figure out what this angle is. Okay, so let's just highlight this inscribed angle. Okay, and we want its intercepted arc is this entire arc right here. Okay, so you'll be tempted to use the 63, okay, uh, but let's not do that. Let's not use that 63. That's a piece of information that we really don't need. Uh, we have this 60 and we have this 122. Uh, so let's figure out what this entire arc is. So let's add uh, 60 and 122. Uh, that would be 182 degrees. Okay. And we know that the entire circle is 360 degrees. So let's figure out what this arc is right here. So 360 minus 182, I'm using a calculator, uh, is 178 degrees. Okay, so this inscribed angle 
is eating this arc right here, which is entire arc is 178 degrees. Uh, and we want this inscribed angle. Inscribed angles are half its intercepted arc. So half of 178 would be 89 degrees. Okay. So I know I'm, I might be going fast on these problems. So if you want to take a closer look at these problems, uh, just press pause and stare at them or, or write them in your notebooks um, and, and redo them once the video is done. Okay, here's this next one. This one looks kind of tricky, but eh, not too bad. Uh, so uh, this angle, so this negative 4x, negative 4 4 plus 14x is for this angle right here. Okay, it looks like it's for this, but it's for this one. Uh, and this 13x is uh, for this angle right here. Uh, so what you'll notice is for the negative 4 plus 14x, it's this angle. And it's eating this arc right here. Use another color. And this 13x is this inscribed angle and it's eating the same arc. So if they're both eating the same arc, that means that these two angles are congruent. And so we can just set them equal to each other. 13x is equal to negative four plus 14x. And we'll just do some algebra. So uh, let's get all of the x's to one side. So let's subtract this 14x on both sides. 13x minus 14x is negative 1x is equal to negative 4. Uh, and let's get rid of this negative 1 by dividing both sides by negative 1. So x equals 4. All right. And let's go to this last problem. Okay. Um, which involves a little more algebra. Um, so... We have this inscribed angle and its intercepted arc is this entire thing right here. So remember the intercepted arcs are twice the measure of its inscribed angle. So if this is 102 degrees, some quick mental math, this will be 204 degrees. So we have the measure of this arc, the measure of this arc, and the measure of this entire arc. and uh, all three of these arcs put together make it the full circle. So uh, we're in a full circle is 360 degrees. And we'll set that equal to 9x minus 6 for this arc plus 72 for this arc and the rest of it plus 204. Okay, and let's just do some algebra. Uh, so let's see, what terms can we combine? We can combine this 204 plus the 72 and subtract the 6. Um, so that would be 270. And we'll bring down this 9x. And remember, this is a positive 270. We had 204 plus 72, that would be 276. Subtract the 6, would be 270. We have the 9x, we have the 360 degrees right there. Okay, and let's subtract the 270 from both sides. 360 minus 270 would be 90. So 90 is equal to 9x. And we'll just divide both sides by 9. So x equals 10. All right, and those are inscribed angles.